Let's see what a biosensor is. A biosensor is composed of several parts. On one hand, there is a biological element known as a receptor, able to recognize a selective analyte of interest. This part defines how specific the biosensor is. This receptor is linked to a transducer element, commonly known as a label, which is in charge of converting this biological recognition interaction into a type of signal that we are able to observe and measure. For example, an electrical charge, a magnetic field or a colour change. This part defines how sensitive the biosensor is. Finally, we have the display, consisting of the elements in charge of adapting and showing such signal so that the operator can interpret it. Consequently, it seems obvious that if we want to improve the sensitivity of a biosensor, the label that is in charge of the transduction process is important. But what is being done today in that field? In the field of immunoassays, biochemical tests that use antibodies as biological receptors, the direct recognition was initially used, but not sensitive enough. The immunoassays have therefore improved in terms of sensitivity with the introduction of the ELISA technique that uses enzymes as labels and the immuno-PCR that uses DNA chains instead of enzymes. The improvements made to a label which carry out the transduction process lead to a considerable increase of the detection sensitivity. However, could we contribute even more to the discovery of new and more efficient labels? The answer is yes. That is the whole point of HeatSense. HeatSense is a technology born from the research on nanomaterials, specifically from gold nanoprisms. They, at the right dimensions, show interesting properties when exposed to a source of energy in a given frequency. They convert almost 100% of light energy into heat. Biosensors can increase their sensitivity when using these gold nanoprisms as a label.